start record. Okay. So if you want to open any model, you have to click open and you have to choose the model, right? Open and you have to choose the uh, model location and each and everything. You have to uh, click the model and you have to open it. Okay, then it's a new, a same as families also. Uh, if you want to open any families like uh, doors, windows, uh, MEP families like plumbing fixtures, so mechanical fixtures, you have to click open and uh, you can open it here. Then here is option called new and new. If you want to create a model, so you have to choose new. If you want to create a family, you have to choose uh, new here. In families, you have to choose new. In models, you have to choose new. So I will go with new. And here, three options, uh, four options are available like templates. So you have to choose the template before uh, going to start a project. You have to choose the right template. Uh, if you are over, go with mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, you have to go with mechanical template and structural template and architecture construction template. So it's a basic introduction class for Revit. Revit. Um, uh, go with I'm going with the Revit architecture part, then after Revit structure and after Revit MEP. So uh, I will go with Revit architecture template here, then OK. So it will take some time to load the template. You cannot work, if you choose Revit architecture, you cannot work structural families. So here, the complete uh, drawing window will be open. After choosing the Revit architecture, the complete drawing uh, window will be opened, right? So here, it's a, in top bar, it's a quick access to bar, like uh, uh, it's a text and it's a default 3D view, it's a cross section, it's a uh, thin line for each and everything here, you will get quick access to bar. You can add the quick access to, to, uh, toolbar also. Look at this. So you can add the quick access to toolbar, you have to uh, go with ramps and right click. I add to quick access to wall. You can add, then it will show here. Okay. Then it's the application bar. It's a complete application bar, architecture, structure, yeah, application bar. In application bar, you will get the ribbon bars or ribbon tools. You can say as ribbon tools also. Okay. Then here, sign in and uh, search option, it will as an information center. Okay. Then it's a navigation bar. Look at this, it's a navigation bar. It's a small bar here it's showing navigation bar, zoom, zoom out, and uh, it's a pan, zoom, pan, uh, rewind each and everything you will get in navigation tool. Okay, so it's a complete drawing window. It's an elevation, east, west. Look at this, east, west, and it's a north and south. It's an elevation. Then these are the project browsers. These are the properties browsers. In below, it's a status bar, right? It's a status bar. Then it's a selection bars, selection toggles, and whatever it may be. Okay. Then this is view control bar. You can control the views like real estate, con constant, shaded, high lines, each and everything you can control. I will explain in depth after going to some other class. Okay, it's just introduction class. Okay. It's a complete ribbon bar, right? You will get each and everything in ribbon bars, ribbon tools. You will get the number of the tools here. Okay. So it's an architecture panel. It's a structural panel. It's a, it's a steel panel. It's a system. System panel, uh, panels indicate uh, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing tools. Like look at this fabrication part. Each and everything you will get. It's an insert, annotate. Analyze, messing and site, collaborate, each and everything you will get in uh, Revit. Okay, so I have chosen Revit, Revit architecture template, right? So here, uh, let's go with some basic uh, informations like how to set uh, uh, levels, each and everything. So before that, uh, I will close this properties and project browser. It cannot work without project and properties browser. How to enable this kind of the process? So right click here and go to browser, project browser. So it will show you. Then right click, it's a properties browser. Okay, properties browser I'm getting here. You can customize also like that. So you can go with uh, completely right side, 
or go with completely left side each, uh, as per your convenient you can set it. So here, uh, project browser, I'll choose left side and properties browser, I'll go with right side because, okay, it's a little bit easy to me. So you can customize this kind of things here. In project browser, you can see levels. Levels indicates floors like ground floor, first floor, second floor. Okay, it's considered as levels here, only two levels. Like uh, you can say as ground floor and first floor, whatever. Yeah, you have to give the names here. Without levels, you cannot work. Okay, why is, uh, now it's audible guys. Someone told why is not clear. Hello. So you can text me because I uh, muted all the people. So if it's okay, I will continue. Hello. Hello, it's clear. Okay. So you have to set the levels. Without levels, you cannot work, right? You have to set the levels. So how to set the levels? Before that, you have to set the units, units of the projects. Go with UN, type UN, enter. No need to enter, set UN, then the project units will be open. Then go to length, you have to set the unit millimeter here a lot of the units are there millimeter decimeter feet and fractional inches meters so i will go with meters and rounding up to two decimals so unit symbol you can go with the meters then okay first work you have to do this okay unit is set now go to elevation project browser you have to go to project browser elevation okay look at this elevation so first floor second floor or level one level two level three ground floor first floor basement whatever okay you have to set so i will give the height it's okay around three meter look at this you have to choose the height uh, after that you can choose the height also okay it's a complete bim software you can modify after some time also okay. if you miss um, miss that uh, set the levels you can after uh, completion of project that also you can modify no issue so i will choose around 3.2 meter okay simply type 3.2 meter it will update it automatically look at this if you click here it will showing 3.2 meter so again how to create a level 3 in architecture panel in right side here is option called levels click levels then here is a two option one is called line then one other is called pick line. In line, you can draw like this. You can draw like this. In pick line, you have, if you choose the pick line, you have to give the offset. Look at this here. So an option option is coming. You have to give an offset of 3.2 meter or 3.24 meter, 5 meter according to the project. You have to give the offset. So I will uh, I'm already given 3.2 meter. You have to click, just click, uh, just select, just go to these particular lines in mouse. So just click here. Look at this. Then it's creating. Just click the below line. Look at this. If you want to create in below, look at this. If you go with upper upper way, it's uh, it's creating in upper way. Look at this. If I select the above, uh, if I select the above lines, it's selected selecting the uh, above above levels. If you go with some below level, it, it's creating in below. Like this, you have to choose. Look at this. So I show. Look at this. I have chosen below, so it's uh, choosing the levels in below. Look at this. It's creating in below. So I have created a number of the levels here. Then you have to give the names. Right, it's easy to, if you give the names, you can easy to work. So how to give the names? Uh, in prop, in project browser, you can go to load plans, click here, select level one, you can go right click and rename. Here is option called rename. 
you can rename it here also okay i'll go with ground floor yes look at this here it's updated automatically ground then i or or click here double click then you can change it here first floor yes here is a two option i will give one suggestion before creating the levels click ground floor and mention at zero zero because it's a ground level right so if you mention zero zero it's in first year otherwise it will uh updated like a alpha diplomatical order right it's zero zero and it comes to first floor so like uh, you can do as 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 one like 0 1 look at this 0 0 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 it will update it like this so it's a ground floor and if you want to create a basement if it's okay look at this so basement is in three third options because it's uh, showing uh, the way okay alphabetical order because yeah we are already given numbers here then it's alphabetical order started here basement like that so if you want to um, um, basement comes first right so minus zero one can give like this look at this this comes first then ground floor first floor like it's a better option from my side otherwise you can go with uh, same level one level two it's completely defined upon you and completely defined upon the projects okay so i'll go with ground floor then ceiling plan also automatically created here okay these are the elevations i will show you after uh for creating the projects okay so it's a complete architecture panel here you will get the walls doors windows components in components you will get two types place a component and model in place columns roofs ceilings floors curtain walls curtain grids mullions railings I uh, will give complete explanation about the uh, each and everything panels. Okay, so I will go with some basic information today. It's a uh, it's important for all Revit architecture, Revit structure, and Revit MEP also. So here one option is called annotate. In annotate, you will get dimensions, detail lines, regions, revision cloud, detail group, insulation, text, each and everything you will get. The basic information is detail line. Detail line indicate a 2D line, right? If you want to create some specific lines, if you want to create some specific uh, uh, data using 2D lines, you can go with detail line. All the line, all the uh, and all the information comes with 3D itself. Okay. So detail line is the 2D option. Go to annotate detail line. Click detail line. After that, you will get a one more ribbon bar one more ribbon panel it's a temporary ribbon panel okay it will open then you can draw this kind of the lines you can draw so we are already set the unit here then you can draw this kind of the detail lines so in detail line if you draw ground floor yeah if you draw some detail lines in ground floor it's not visible in east elevation north elevation it's not visible in the elevation or 3d so if you draw anything, it's eligible in, uh, it's visible in uh, each elevation or 3D view. So I will show you, go to architecture. I'm just, for example, I'm taking a wall here. Look at this, I have drawn a wall. If you go to elevation, it's visible. Look at this, the wall is visible, okay? If you go to 3D, the wall is visible. Look at this, the wall is visible, right? Can go to ground floor and delete the wall. So, but in detail line, it's not visible because it's a 2D lines, right? Annotate detail line. DL is the shortcut. Okay, DL is the shortcut. Simple type DL to be uh, active automatically. Detail lines. Look at this. You can draw any kind of the detail. In detail line, you will get modify place or uh, modify panel. Okay. You will get some options here rectangular if you go with rectangular command you can draw some rectangles okay then here is option called 
inscribed polygon. Yeah, it will create a polygons in the circle inside the circle. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, six sides. If you want to create a five, uh, five sides of the circle here, something called sides. Simply click five, enter five, then look at this. Then here is option called circumscribed polygon. Same. But circumscribed difference between these two are uh, uh, circumscribed polygon is creating the uh, uh, polygons outside the circle. Look at this. Detail line. Again, here is option called circle. Have to give the diameter. Okay. If you want to check the radius, you can check it here. So I'll show you dimension separately. Okay. So radius circles. If you want to create a circle, click circle and uh, select the point. Uh, whatever the point you have to select or it can select the empty point and give the radius so around uh, seven meter it's showing simply type three meter it will activate it automatically like this if you want to create 10 uh it's showing six meter i will go spy enter okay it will activate it automatically right then one more option is called start and radius Select the first point, start, select the second point, and radius. Look at this. Like this, you can create, or you can give the radius itself. So I'll go with it. So can't change the radius because it's showing some errors. If you cannot create the radius, it's showing the errors. Okay. Start, end, and radius. Look at this. Then one more option is called center and arc. If you want to create an arc, uh, select the center point. Okay, I will go with center point here and and arc. Look at this center and and arc. Half arc. Okay, so is it clear? Center point, end point, then you can create an arc. Look at this. Right, center, end. Okay, if you uh, select the center here, center and and arc. Look at this detail line tangent and dark. Okay, so before that, if you want to create a tangent and dark, uh, we should create a, that kind of the drawings. Okay, so I'll create some random drawings here, like steps. So here you want to create an arc, tangent and arc. Go to detail line. Here's option called tangent and arc. Tangent and arc. Like this. And here is option called fillet arc. Fillet arc. Select this one and select this one. Look at this. Fillet arc. Select this one and this one. But it, it's useful for some designs. First point and second point. Right. Okay. Then I can go to detail lines. Here is the option called spill line. Create a smooth curve that passes through the near specified points, just like creating a smooth curves, like first point, select point, third point, you have to give. It's not usable, almost enter. Look at this. You can change it. Click here and you can change some curves like up and down. It's not useful actually. Sometimes it may be. Again, go to detail and simply type DL 
no need to uh, press enter okay then here is option called ellipse first point and radius look at this first point give radius and choose the ellipse right or left up up or down okay you have to choose the two times of the radius then here is option for parallel ellipse uh, partial ellipse okay look at this and first point second point first point second point okay so detail line here's the option called partial ellipse first point second yes. then again go to detail line here is the option called pick lines pick line is the same if you using pick lines you have to give the offset pick lines give the offset offset is around one meter two meter whatever it might be one meter okay click this object look at this it's a offset Look at this, it's creating the offset, right? So is it clear? Okay, so after creating 2D lines, the second part is dimension, right? So if you want to give the dimension, if you want to show the radius, how, how it's possible? Then one more option, detail line, line. Look at this, here, here is an option called chain. So what is this chain? Look at this, I'm drawing the lines here. First point, so select first point and select second point. Again, it's starting from the second point, right? Look at this. Again, it's starting from the second point, right? Look at this. If I opt the chain, look at this, starting from the second point and Look at this. Now it's not starting from the end point. So if you uh, if you check the chain, if the chain is on starting from the end point, whatever it may be, if you draw something or if you draw walls, whatever, if you end uh, if you start from the end point, look at this. If the chain is off, it's not start from the end point. Look at this. Again, asking where is the first point? Look at this. So I'm asking again right so okay now here is an option called dimensions if you click the detail line you will get dimension part also look at this here is option called align dimension if you click the align dimension you will get the dimension option otherwise go to annotate here first option dimension align dimension Align, place the dimension between parallel reference or between multiple points. Click align dimension. If you want to show the some parallel dimension, look at this. If you want to show this kind of the dimension. How to show? Look at this. It's not showing. Okay. I will explain align dimension after. Before that, linear. Look at this. Is it possible to show linear dimension? Here? Here. Is it correct? I think it's not correct. 7.37 meter. Okay. How to show this dimensions? Okay. Linear dimension used for, look at this. Linear dimension, place a horizontal and vertical distance. Use it for linear dimension. If you want to uh, show the dimension of the these two, these points. Look at this, showing 14 meter. It's exactly correct. First point and second point. It's correct, 10 meter, look at this. First point and second point. It's showing 10 meter, right? Linear dimension, it's showing exactly right angular angular damage if you want to show the angles between these two select first one and second one 120 degree 120 look at this then if you want to show first one second one or not eight degree right or oh, check this one it's 90 right 90 look at this. radial Radial dimension, click radial dimension. If you want to show this kind of the radial dimension, look at this. 
radius 6 meter radius 6 uh, 4.50 meter this one simple click the arc radius or simply click the circle simple it's easy as compared to autocad so everyone using revit so revit is a bin software right so diameter if you want to show the diameter click the diameter diameter and simply click the circle or arc also look at this so radius 6 and, uh, and absolutely diameter uh, radius is 6 and uh, diameter also 12 so 6 plus 6 look at this 15.40 look at this then arc length so here i'm not explained align so i will show you why i'm not explained arc length so where is my arc look at this if you want to show so running out of time actually the meeting is and end, uh, end in 10 minutes please rejoin okay after meeting is end please rejoin okay showing the meeting is ending in 10 minutes because uh, we are using pre version of the zoom so please rejoin okay arc length so if you want to make the arc length how it's possible look at this i've chosen arc length if i click here it's not showing what is the process arc length click the arc then select the first point then select the second point look at this now it's showing 30.47 meter right it's absolutely correct no need to draw again and again right so any other arc is there mm. no yeah yeah okay arc length so it's not an arc right so only it show the dimension only for the arc then here is option called spot elevation simply click the spot elevation and click any point so spot elevation not showing because it's shown in 3d only okay it's showing that like this spot elevation is showing only 3d or uh, any kind of the elevations it's a 2d drawing right so spot coordination you can uh, check the coordination between two points click the spot coordination and click the points uh, where is the point look at this look at this simply select the point okay and place where uh, where you want click at uh, okay. just right click it it will place automatically okay now it's clear okay i hope it's clear then i will go with align command so look at this is it 7.37 meter is correct i don't think it's correct so let's check align and here you have to change wall center line and wall face you have to select the wall face select this one and this one look at this absolutely nine meter is it right so let's check okay uh if you want if you don't want uh, commands go to modify it will uh, uh, escape automatically or click escape or press escape sorry okay go to detail line let's draw i will go with uh let's take around 10 meter okay okay so I have drawn the lines 10 meter. Let's check. Linear. Is it linear is correct? No. Showing completely right. Uh, it's completely wrong. So again, align. Select the first point, second point. Correct? Yes, completely correct. So today I have explained the basic concept of the dimensions and detail. And it's the most important, guys. It will come for everything like Revit MEP, Revit Structure, and Revit Architecture also, including detailing. So I have explained, okay? So now I will unmute each and everyone. You can ask a doubt, okay? So before that, I will go with stop right.